What's up everybody, we're back at it again with another Ready or Not video, or uh, what we know video. <laughs> There's been quite a bit of things that actually came out, you know, while I was gone. But I think we're going to start with uh, an email that I had sent to the developers right after the delay came in. I simply asked, could you guys shed a little light on why it was delayed? And this is exactly what he sent to me. Hi Durek, we're in the process of making an 8 minute plus gameplay trailer with a lot of details and keeping the game development going just took longer than we anticipated thanks for asking and your continued support cheers no problem jr keep me posted moving on so while i was gone they decided to post a picture on their instagram and this is what it looks like now first what do we see just by looking at it well obviously it is raining you can see some clouds that are right here uh in the background there are some lights but if we take a closer look there is a some kind of railing system that's right there i'm not sure what that could possibly be now the next obvious thing is these two guys but one thing that strikes me is that they are the exact same guys that were in a previous instagram picture this is it right here so this tells me that they're the sniper team and uh, and also a big giveaway is just the uh the name of the picture which says hide and seek high ground has eyes on entry team so this is the sniper team is what it is so if we brighten up the picture they are standing on these shipping crates at least that's what it looks like there's some graffiti right there it actually looks better if you look at it on a phone but unfortunately this is about as good as i can get it but then this leads to a bunch of questions like where could this possibly be like you know a couple of things pop into my head a big ship a warehouse a shipping yard and also a train yard it's, those are the only things that i can really think of when it comes to those uh those big shipping crates I can't think of anything else. So that's interesting. That's about as much as I can say about that. If you guys see anything more, let me know. Up next, we apparently have a new composer that was just released. His name is Dan Liston. I believe that's how you say that. A subscriber sent this to me on my Discord, and I at first thought that this was a joke because when I... I was using my phone at the time, so it didn't actually show me the tracks that he had. It just showed me... Um, a different SoundCloud person, which at first I thought was the same guy because when I clicked on the link that they sent to me, it sent me to a guy that was just doing talking tracks. Like he, he was trying to like make like some kind of story. But then I look on my computer, I'm like, oh, <laughs> there's his uh, music. His music sounds a lot like L.A. Noor, and I, that's interesting. What an interesting choice to go with. If you notice that in the background, the music that's playing is actually one of his tracks. Um, I urge you to go check him out because he sounds no he, he doesn't sound too bad i'll be real his soundcloud is in the description um if you're on the phone it might send you to some random uh guy that's just talking like i don't know if that's like one of his friends or if it's just like he he, he sounds like he would be a good voice actor for ready or not but maybe that's just me but yeah just check him out and tell me what you think and uh let's move on to the next one so i actually have a full weapon list that was posted by a website called just paste it and i'm not sure uh of who the author was but i will put a link in the description but it basically names off all the confirmed weapons for ready or not so the way that the list goes is that it names off the gun and then says what type of ammo it has the list goes as follows milkor mgl backslash 40 millimeter he colt python backslash 357 mag tipman marker pepperball gun backslash pepper balls x26 taser backslash two electric probes hk mp5a4 backslash 9 by 19 hk g36c backslash 556 by 45 walther ppq backslash 9 by 19 glock 19 backslash 9 by 19 springfield armory inc m14 socom backslash 762 by 51 hkump backslash 40 or 45 beretta m9 fs backslash 9 by 19 fn 57 backslash 57 by 28 millimeter bernelli m4 i feel like that's supposed to say bernelli i don't know backslash 12 gauge walther mpl backslash 9 by 19 remington 870 mcs tactical backslash 12 gauge 
Colt M4A1 backslash 556 by 45 FNMK16 mod scar backslash 556 by 45 Remington 700 backslash 308 or 762 by 51 FN foul backslash 556 by 45 Armalite AR18 backslash 556 by 45 Mossberg 500 backslash 12 gauge the person that released this content said not seen yet in release content but also thought to be in the game and then he goes on to say Bern Bernelli Nova 12 gauge Colt 1911 a1 backslash 45 ACP speculation devs didn't deny it and that's all that they have for confirmed weapons in the game I'm sure there's more than that but this is what has been confirmed by this person that posted this I do not know the name of the person that did it because it doesn't look like there is an actual name on here but I will put the link in the description as to where this per you know I got this information I guess so if I mispronounced any of these weapons let me know because I, I am not a gun expert I, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about when it comes to these kind of things because I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I said a lot of this shit wrong. So just, uh, moving on. The last thing that we will do today is obviously go over to Reddit, the, the source of information. Because <clears throat> I love that website. <clears throat> yeah. Now, if you don't know how I usually do this, I usually have the serious stuff first and then the memes last. So first, we're going to be starting off with weeks mean that we won't get the trailer in July. Well, obviously we know by now that uh, we didn't, but what he's referring to is when there was a post that said that um, somebody was saying, is it going to be like days or weeks? And he says weeks, and he says how many weeks? And he's like, a lot of them. That's basically what he was re referring to. It's like a, I think that was like the previous video that I had. I could be wrong. Don't remember which one it was. Any ideas or speculation? Somebody in the comments section says, I mean, they've said countless times that they would read the FAQ. And the guy that posted the comment fires back with, with, I know that, but many weeks doesn't sound like less than three. I thought they may have delayed it. You know, I was thinking the exact same thing, but of course, you know, I didn't want to like jump to any conclusions because, because you know, jumping to conclusions usually uh, spreads misinformation. And the developer replies with, no comment. Moving on. Up next, we have question on ballistic shields. So this is a question on the shields. It's It starts off with saying what the FAQ says. How does the ballistic shield work? It's a deployable item that players can purchase at the beginning of a mission. Players can pick it up and drop it at will. Generally, the shield bearer is both a role that players may want or want not to be. They will definitely feel the weight of using it, but it's very terrifying and loud when a bullet hits, as it should be. And then he also does another one from the FAQ it says how many shield bearers will be allowed I'm a firm believer in two shields per entry team when clearing a facility and the FAQ responds to that saying it's a deployable item that players can purchase at the beginning of a mission and his question is does this mean that the player will have it on their back and deploy it when they see fit depending on the shield I can say that it will be incredibly bulky and not practical my opinion is that if you have the shield that means you you could use your sidearm and that there should be a deployable option where you can pull it off your back if that is the context appreciate the hard work you all at void interactive are doing and the developer replies with first question has been answered before but one or two the deployable spawn at a set location on the map and you pick them up and carry them to wherever you want to use them interesting all right moving on to the next one we have got Concern about the artificial cone of fire backslash bullet deviation from barrel. Hello everyone. As had been stated several times before by the devs, there will be an artificial cone of fire when not aiming down sights and or while moving deviation bullets from where the muzzle barrel is actually pointing. Think Counter-Strike or SWAT series. In my opinion, this should not be acceptable for a game with goals like Ron, especially not in 2018. I do get the reason behind that enforcing the use of ads. However, I do not agree with the implementation. I would suggest to do it like Escape from Tarkov, i.e. bullets always come out where the muzzle is pointing at, but the weapon has more sway, moves around more when not in ADS or while moving. That would be a modern and authentic solution to the problem you are trying to fix. It would do exactly the same thing as a random cone of fire, just in a realistic manner without breaking immersion. And the developer simply replies with nothing that exaggerated. People need to have some faith in the reason why we added this. After all, who are the ones working on it? Stuff is subject to change, of course. But right now the gunplay is really fun really solid. The concern in the post above is mostly about ideas of how it will be without actually experiencing it. 
which, yeah, which of course is natural considering we haven't shown much, but that will change. Yeah, judging a book by its cover when you haven't even read it yet. Uh, I mean, it happens, you know, just like, like with me and Insurgency Sandstorm, honestly, I thought that this game was going to play a lot like the first one, but it didn't. I mean, I can't say much about it. Let me fucking rip my asshole apart. Up next we have, is there any information about anti-cheat or censoring? Anti-cheat, yes, censoring. Hmm. I was curious if there was any information on anti-cheat dealing with people using injectors. What the hell is an injector? And other methods. It's really annoying on some game launches, especially since I intend on taking this game pretty seriously. And I was also wondering if there will be a text chat, and if there will be censoring of specific words and whatnot. As I think hashtag words is fine under the right context. Banning people for said words seems to be completely unnecessary. Looking at you, Siege. Ooh, I wanted to make a video on that. I don't know if I should. Give me a crap ton of likes if you want me to make a video, because I have the script here ready and waiting. And the developer replies with, No plans currently to provide a filter. If you don't want to read someone's text, hear them, you can just block them during the match. Right? Right? That's my fucking argument the entire goddamn time. Moving on to the next one. Limited time? No, this was originally asked in the AMA, but I was never answered. Thanks Big Fry for reminding me. I am now reposting this because I believe this is important. Question below. Will suspects become increasingly dangerous and belligerent in hostage scenarios the longer they aren't taken out or given what they want? And will there be a point in time where the suspect starts killing people until everyone dies? And if so, what happens when all of them are dead? Also, will we deal with suicidal suspects wearing bomb vests and bomb armor who will continue to attack people until they die? In other words, will there be situations where the only option to be successful is to kill or incapacitate the suspect ASAP versus trying to do it smoothly? I am aware you guys are busy and I'm hyped for the gameplay trailer, but if you could answer, that would be nice. Somebody in the comments says, in SWAT 4, once a civilian dies it's just game over basically <laughs> yeah and the developer replies to that one saying if you the SWAT officer kills a civilian then it is mission fail if a civilian gets killed in crossfire and you weren't the direct cause of it then it's a point loss interesting up next we have, will having a headset equipped in game affect one's audio and situational awareness, or is it completely cosmetic? And the developer replies with, cosmetic. You won't be going around changing from cosmetics to liberators before the mission starts. That's not the focus of our game. Ends up just being fluff. Very neat in Tarkov though, which has a much greater emphasis on the facets of a player kit and how you can leverage that to survive. I didn't even know they did that in Tarkov. I gotta check that out. All right, moving on to the next one. Question for devs. Will there be a raw input for mouse controls? The question is something that is extremely important to the longevity of my playtime with any video game. If you were to ask me, every shooter should have a raw input and no artificial effect on mouse movement. This is something that has bothered me in games, like Escape from Tarkov, where armor you wear directly impacts your mouth sensitivity, which as a result messes with my muscle memory hardcore. Debuffs from wearing a lot of armor like movement speed is fine, but IMO, there is never a legit reason to tamper with mouse movement at all and the developer replies with yep raw input no mouse acceleration to what degree will items like NVGs and gas masks affect vision? Oh, that's actually interesting. Decrease field of view with NVGs, goggles, and gas masks. Goggles and gas masks, visor tint, ballistic glasses frame. And the developer replies with, Gas mask will block your peripheral view, but they are not static as they were in older titles. Same as NVGs. I'm not sure what any of that shit means, but all right. I'm sure you, I'm sure you, the viewer, knows what that means. Up next we have, Will the hostage or the SWAT team members ever have mental breakdowns? Oh, that would be crazy. I think it would be an interesting gameplay mechanic. Yeah, I think so too. Easy Street replies with, Hostages can have something like that happen to them, yes. Ooh, interesting. Moving on to the next one. Communication with devs? Normal games? I don't know. Like one Q&A every two months? But are not devs answering like every question ever possible before the game is even available for pre-order? Uh, I don't know if he's dissing the game? Like, I don't understand actually the developer says is this bad no i don't see what's wrong with it i mean developers have gone either way like they're either really quiet or they're really like out there talking about it and there's no surefire way to really advertise your game but you know i, I don't know i don't know what the fuck i'm talking out of my ass well that was an interesting one let's move on to the next one up next we have this could be a great feature for Ready or Not. The name of the video is called UE4 Weapon Collision vs. World. Let's see what this looks like.
<laughs> That's actually kind of cool. I'd actually like to see that. And the developer replies with pretty much this. We've got low and high ready based on proximity and objects instead. I mean, it, it it's fucking realistic as shit though. All right. Well, are there achievements for Steam? Yeah, some of us don't want achievements. And the developer replies with, of course. Uh, achievement achieved. Up next we have, 10 minutes ago, a picture was posted at the game's Insta page of two cops on a roof. The last post I think was around a year ago. This could be trailer day, boys. Boy, was he wrong. What was it submitted seven days ago? Ooh. And the developer replies with, last post wasn't a year ago, though. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next one. We have another... Uh, anyone else trying to learn Unreal Engine to make modded maps in the future? Currently trying to learn the basics and damn, I am bad at this. Lol. Anyone else doing the same? And the developer replies with, keep it up. Excited to see what the modding scene looks like in the future. Up next we have, will guns jam overheat? I don't remember if they answered this, but it isn't in the FAQ. And Easy Street replies with, probably not. This is the type of game where a majority of engagements take place indoors with optimally cleaned equipment. Yeah, that makes complete sense. Um, because you're not really running around like out in the boonies somewhere. You're, you know, usually in urban areas and your guns are going to be clean most of the time. So it, it makes sense or it doesn't, it wouldn't make sense if your shit started jamming. Like if, if this was Escape from Tarkov, yeah, I could see that, but like... This game, not so much. All right, let's move on to the next one. Void just posted a new picture on their Instagram. We already saw that, but let's take a look and see what the developer had to say. The developer says that the photo is in real time and in game, but not gameplay. How does that make sense? Oh, oh, it might be cinematic, probably. I don't know. The dev replies to a person that says, nice, some cinematic? Always great to add that touch so that the game isn't soulless. And the developer replies with, we don't really have any out of body cinematic scenes planned maybe one but plenty of time put into making sure it's all as pretty as we can get it to be interesting moving on we have there will be free look so will there be track ir or any track device be supported didn't find it in the faq track ir is very useful when i'm playing arma 3 cqb it'll be great if ron supported this kind of devices and the developer replies with track is awesome it's not in yet due to prioritization but consider it supported so it's not out for the count up next we have do the devs plan to play with fans when ron releases it's a good question as the title says i think it'd be a pretty cool idea for the devs to schedule special days where the fans get to play ron with them in celebration of their hard work it would be a pretty cool experience just something to think about down the line as we get closer to release somebody in the comments replies with i always wanted to put gunter in custody and gunter replies with won't give you the chance buddy <laughs> up next we have concussion stun effects from explosions pretty curious if we'll have effects like these two in ron shaky screens mild blurriness and maybe a temporary tintinitis and then he shows videos of sylvia womble i like that guy i think he's funny i know i know hella late to be suggesting stuff but i'm just asking if something similar is already in the game and the developer replies with, of course. Moving on to the next one. And finally we have, will there be a mission score system or other penalty system? Like in SWAT 4 score system, if you kill a suspect before he raises his gun, you get a minus 10 so that you can't shoot them on sight with lethal weapons. And in SWAT 4, arresting a suspect gives you better score than neutralizing one. Will there be any differences in Ron? Please give us a hint about how it works. I love this game either way. I am just curious. And Easy Street says, yeah, there's a mission score and penalty system in the game currently similar to swap 4 it's a bit early to draw comparison to swap 4 though since the system is going to get a redesign overhaul soon we liked how the system in swap 4 encouraged lawful use of force but we didn't like how it pigeonholed players into using pepper ball in order to get the highest score so there's a fine line that we have to walk here yeah i like, and, and for me to play SWAT 4, I can't go non-lethal. I just can't. Like, I have to go fucking full lethal, and I have to, like, hold myself back, because that's, like, where the fun is. Because I'm like, I can't shoot unless he actually points the gun at me. So I'm fucking screaming the shit out of him, just like, get down, put your hands on the ground, turn around, 
pop it. Well, that is the end of the serious questions. Now let's move on to the memes, my favorite. There's a lot of freaking job applications, it seems like. Hey, since you're open for job applications, I'd like a job as a trailer tester. My talents are watching trailers. <laughs> and the developer replies with, never said we're open for apps, just that we keep our eyes open. Low. All hail the mighty prophet. Will Gunter bring us upon the wisdom upon our darkest day when doubt clouds in your minds? Only then will the trailer come, for it has the word of Gunter. And Gunter replies with, who are my 12 disciples? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This should be... So, this just proves that you can make a religion out of anything. All right, moving on to the next one. My finest work yet, Gunter. Just Joke me, devs. Well, we Where's get a the dev new dev block block trailer? Can we get new the five five two thirty five? What the fuck, Zimbabwe SWAT? I have nobody to blame but myself. Holy shit, he actually admitted it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. To Gunter, are you the second coming of Jesus? Just some speculation. I will not be afraid of worship. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and the developer replies with, We're simple men. We see a lack of SWAT-based games. We make a SWAT-based game. But you may worship if you feel it will help. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Praise the magic conch. <gasps> Moving on to the next one. I'm seriously desperate. Seriously. So it's just a video of him playing that um, that Ready or Not music from the trailer. Uh, I'm not. I don't remember what it was called, but yeah, he's playing it over Door Ki Door Kickers, which is a game that I'm kind of interested in. Um, of course, I can't play that music because it's kind of copyrighted. And Gunter just replies with "Neat." I kind I kind of want to play this game now because um, it looks fun. Mm, I have it up on my Steam right now. I'm probably gonna get it. Moving on, the next one we have says, ready or not? More like SWAT 5, prove me wrong. Is, is this supposed to be that one meme with the, the what the hell's his name, Steven Crowder or some shit? And the developer replies with, could be true. And he has a link, let's see what it looks like. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn, Ryan. Where'd I get one of those? Where'd I get one of those? I need one of those. Oh, look, at, there's a sticker on the... There's a sticker on the thing right there. Where the fuck do I get that? I need it. Man, that's pimp, man. That's pimp. Oh my god, the second developer rose out of its shell. And the developer sent a video. Work, work. Work, work. <laughs> man, they're on point with these fucking memes, man. Fuck, go back. Gunter also puts his two cents in saying, Brave post. Well, that was interesting. Let's move on to the next one. Leaked footage. Game looks great. It's just a picture of, um... I think that's Hickok45? I think that's who that is. And the developer replies with, Who sent you this? Lol. Moving on to the next one. <laughs> Crazy to think that we're about to get the official launch after all this time. Shout out to those who have been here since day one. And he has a picture of a Roblox... <laughs> Roblox freaking... And the developer replies with, who leaked this image of our game? That is the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun. Got a few laughs here and there. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>